Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nick Watson. I own 360 Big Sky Media, which is a virtual tour photographer based in the United Kingdom. And for the last three and a half years, I've mainly used the Asus for my virtual tours. The purpose of these videos is to create five minute tutorials on each aspect of the Asus to allow you to be able to create virtual tours like a pro. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload some images and we're gonna go through the Panorama Properties page, show you how to set the default view, talk about zooms, talk about the different aspects from that particular page. Let's jump into the Asus. Right, so we'll open up the Asus and we go into the page where we normally start from, which is our virtual tour page, and we can see the two we created in the last video called demonstration. We're just going to click on that one and what we're going to do is upload panoramas and build a virtual tour and we can click that and we get presented with this box here this page now you can see a lot of the icons are grayed out at the minute they'll become apparent very quickly but what we need to do is upload some panoramas we have two ways we can do it the file types we can use in theasis are jpeg png files gifs and bitmaps and the biggest size you can use is 200 megabytes which is huge Obviously, there's factors to take into account with that, which is your internet connection. I do a lot of work on a Chromebook, and when I'm on a Chromebook, I'm tethered to my mobile phone. When I'm at home, I've got fibre broadband. I can use big files if I want to. So let's upload some files. Two ways we can do it. The first thing you can do is open a folder and drag the image over to this little box and drop it. And you'll see in real time, this is where we are now, that we are uploading that image now it'll be uploaded then processed and then we'll be able to set things up you can see it's not taking that long but as i do as i have just mentioned i do have quite a good internet access here there's our first image uploaded the second way we can do it is we can click and we can go into our file and we can then click the rest of the images we want while they're uploading you can start working on the first the first image and as you can see this is our first image. Now these are JPEGs at eight to 10 megabytes. I'm assuming that you do know that you need to use an equirectangular image. If you don't know where an equirectangular image is, an equirectangular image is an image that is a 360 degree photograph displayed in a flat view, twice as wide as it is high. While we've been waiting, them images have uploaded and they are here. We can click through this camera roll and we can work on them. Let me just go through a couple of the options. First tab up here is help. There's a help center, which is also accessible here. You can click that and you can bring up the help center. There's also a keyboard shortcuts, which we're gonna go into a little bit later on. There's an editing quality depending on the internet speed that you're using and also your machine. You can have draft, low, medium and high. I'm at home and for the purpose of this, I'm using a high quality. And then we have an emulator. At the moment, I'm set the desktop, but we can set the tablet or we can set the mobile phone if you want to see how it looks. If you need to reorder your panoramas, if you come down to the carousel down here and we go up the first image, which is number one, you can see the number hashtag one. We've got this little pink flag, which tells us that this is the first displayed panorama. If we don't want that to be the first displayed panorama, if we want this one to be what we would do is select it and then right click and set as the first displayed panorama and you can see the pink flag has moved this tells us we've got no gps coordinates installed if we did have any gps coordinates or we had it added them in if we click that it'll open the map and this is a preview of our image that we've uploaded so we've got image one image two image three image four Let's imagine image four should be the second image we see. If we keep it highlighted, we've got the box around it. We go over to the top left hand corner. It tells us we can drag this backwards and forwards to reorder our images. So if we drag it and let go, we can now see that that image is now our second image. I'll put it back to where it was. So we've set the first panorama. What I do before I do anything else is I set the default view. Theasis has a default view, which is the view you would see when you were walking through this property. So if you can imagine we are standing outside of this property, this would be our default view. And the reason we set the default view is just clicking between these thumbnails at the bottom, we need to be able to walk through the panoramas as we were walking through the property. We can zoom in and out 
we can do that by using our scroll wheel or we can do projection and behavior and come down to this little part of the the options page here and we can adjust our zoom i normally have my zoom set to 85 and i allow the customers a maximum of 70 to 100 as a zoom range you can see as i scroll in and out it allows me to zoom in and out and i'm going to set that there as my default view two ways we can do this first one we can right click and set as default view second way we can do it is we can click set as default view and this will turn green I'm going to put that back to where we had it and set that as a default view so I have set 95 and my zooms between 170 so then I would go into the next image set the view to where I would hope it to be by using straight lines so we straighten we straight set as default view do the same with the third image and so on and so forth so now we've set all four default views now when we click between the thumbnails we walk through the property as we would walk through the property so that's how we upload images that's how we set the default view we've uploaded images we've talked about the different file formats the different sizes we've looked at the device emulators the draft quality to the highest quality when you're working and then we've talked about setting the zoom and setting the default view so that was it that's today's video over another five minute video hopefully and we'll just keep these going join me in the next video when we're going to talk about project properties panorama properties hotspot properties maps floor plans and the help menu hope to see you then don't forget to click and subscribe if you want to see more videos it'll be much appreciated and share this with your friends have a good day and we'll speak soon